and welcome to the video, How to Set Up Your Final. Uh, for this project, we're going to talk about how to get things started before you jump into your final project. So, um, I suggest using a new sheet of paper in your sketchbooks. If you don't have a sketchbook, you're welcome to use a regular sheet of computer paper, which is printing paper. You can also use a uh, the back of an advertisement. So for example, this was an air filter. I just cut out a sheet of paper about the size of my sketchbook. You can use that. As long as the back is blank, you're perfectly good. So for our finals, what I like everyone to do, just like we've always done, I'd like there to be a border around the edge. Uh, I think this will really kind of help it look nice and neat. This will also give you a place to put your signature. That is correct. Unlike all of our other projects that we've done for this class, because we're working at home and to avoid kind of copying or stealing things from the internet, I'd like everyone to put their signature in the border, somewhere along the border of their final. Okay, so let's get things started. The border for this project is going to be nice and simple. We're going to do a one inch border, about a one inch border. So just remember, you always want to measure twice, draw once. So I find the one, I do a tick mark. I go to the opposite side, I find the one, I do a tick mark. And then I connect the dots. Like so. Okay, today I'm gonna kind of finish all four sides and then talk about the, how to do this if you don't have a ruler. There you go. Now, if you notice at the very end, I sign my name up at the top. Okay, that's where I'd like everyone to put their signatures once you finish your border. Again, our name goes on the front for this project. So what are we gonna do if we don't have a border? Or excuse me, if we don't have a ruler? Well, there's lots of objects around our house that we can use to help us kind of measure about an inch. For example, here I have a butter knife. Okay, you can take your butter knife, Line it up at the bottom. Do a tick mark on one side. Flip it over. Do a tick mark on the other. And then use a straight edge, such as these pencils, to connect the dots. Stay tuned while I finish the other three sides of my paper. Okie guys. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions about how to set up your border for your final. And again, don't forget, please include that signature on the front. Okay? Don't forget, that's how I'll know. You, you will get points taken off if I don't see that signature. Okay. Bye-bye.